Paperspace is a cloud computing company that provides cloud-based development tools and environments ranging from single users to enterprise-sized companies. We'll be focusing on the gaming portion of Paperspace in which they offer cloud PC rentals similar to maximum settings and air GPU at an hourly rate. Are you looking for a powerful cloud PC? Would Paperspace be for you? Let's go through the details of the gaming service. The gaming aspect of Paperspace is accessible through their core product. Their core product is where you can build your machine from the operating system and GPU type down to the available hard drive space to download your games to your cloud machine. They even have a dedicated IP and backup features for your machine, which is optional. They give you a price total at the bottom after you're done configuring your machine. When your machine is created, connect either Parsec or Moonlight to play your games. After this, you're good to go. It's a well put together cloud virtual machine. They'll invoice you on the first of the month with the storage price rounded up based on your configuration. Then they will charge you the hourly rate for usage for the month as a separate line item. If you have a set price per month in mind for your cloud PC, make sure you do the math ahead of time. Take that storage price, multiply it by 720, and that's your minimum monthly total. For instance, if you're looking for a two terabyte machine, that can be done, but be aware that 16.5 cents an hour will put you at $118 a month. Let's just call that 120. Yes, this all adds up. Don't let those small prices fool you. Now, once you get your monthly prices straight and your machine set up, their performance is quite possibly one of the best cloud computing experiences on the market for gaming. Using their website or downloading their app makes using their machines or setting up Parsec or Moonlight on them a breeze. Starting and stopping your machine is fast and simple. It takes usually no more than a minute to start up. I can use their app or website to instantly remote into their cloud PC to use it. This even includes mobile devices like an iPhone on the website. Now please, don't use the app or website to play games on. It's not built for that, at least not yet. Now speaking of gaming, every tier has eight virtual CPUs, so processing power is great. On top of the Ampere GPU we have chosen, with 45 gigs of RAM, yes, you heard that correctly, loading and running your games is practically flawless. Check out our benchmark video for more information. We played various games that we have showcased on the channel that have played absolutely wonderfully on Paperspace. Saying this, if you're looking to play Game Pass PC games on here, make sure you bring your own Windows 10 license because the Xbox app doesn't work on the Windows server license they give you. Other than that, Modern Warfare and Warzone play like my home PC. Kills were easy to come by on Battlefield games. GTA 5 played way too well and you couldn't tell that Monster Hunter Rise was being played on the cloud PC. Gaming results were great. They actually surpassed our expectations. We have a lot of other games we played on the platform, so make sure you check out our Paperspace playlist. To play the best you can, we suggest playing on Parsec. Thankfully, Paperspace also has an option for a static IP, so you can install Moonlight to play your games through. This also means you can play your games on your mobile devices through these streaming programs as well. Now let's talk about latency. As long as you are close to their servers, you should have absolutely no issues. The problem is, is that they only have three data centers. They have one in New York, California, and Amsterdam. Feel free to check their site and test your latency by pinging the closest data center to you. This way, you will know how much latency you will have before you purchase your machine. Link in the description. Our machine is located in New York, and we have around 20 milliseconds, which is a great time. Anything over 40 milliseconds and you're going to have issues. I think the biggest problem with these machines is the bandwidth Paperspace allows for primarily downloading games and also bitrate issues during peak hours. Paperspace will limit users to a download speed of 24 megabits per second if traffic is too high. This definitely happened to me multiple times since I usually play during peak hours. The struggle to download big games was real. If you play at other times, let's say at 3 a.m., the pipes are yours. This might be the best time to get big downloads done, to be honest. We also have had times where video bitrate has diminished. It's rare, but I usually ran my machine at 4K, and video quality has died down at certain times. It was rare, but it usually went back to normal after about 30 seconds to a minute. Overall, Paperspace is a very solid service, as long as you live close by to the servers. Performance is great, and you truly get a huge bang for your hourly buck. If you like this overview of Paperspace Gaming, 
give us a like and make sure to subscribe to get the latest news, gameplay, and comparisons on cloud gaming at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. <laughs>